What is going on everyone? Today I'm going to be watching and reacting to Chucky Season 2 Episode 1. Very excited to get into this. Of course we have to watch it on sci-fi as we did last year. It's a little bit weird how they release these episodes. I mean it's normal for like 10 years ago but obviously nowadays we're used to seeing shows just getting released to streaming sites rather than still on cable. But I'm actually have to watch it on cable here live just to get it as soon as I can. I believe they're going to be releasing like a like the next day for peacock or something like that but i obviously want to watch it as soon as possible um as for season one i really enjoyed season one i really did i had a lot of fun with it we obviously reacted to that on this channel so definitely go check out those videos if you haven't seen them already i'm just a big fan of the chucky franchise in general and i thought season one was decent i didn't think it was better than most of the movies though there's definitely a couple of the movies that i like way more i definitely like the originals cult of chucky even bride of chucky like not cult i mean curse of chucky i didn't like cult of chucky um but curse i really loved and Brian and stuff like that. They're all solid. I still really enjoyed the series though. I think this definitely works well as a series and I'm excited to see where the story goes from here in season two. The trailers looked pretty good. The more recent one, the one they released in Comic-Con was pretty bad. It didn't really show off enough to really get me excited for it, but the second trailer was actually really damn good. So now I'm actually very excited to watch this. So if you want to see the full uncut reaction, as always, that'll be on my Patreon, which is in the description down below. You could also get early access to these videos there. Don't forget to also like the video and subscribe to the channel. And let's watch this. When do we get to start stabbing? Wait, you got <laughs> Why knife? is there a bald one? Yeah, I got a knife. They Why? Them out at orientation. I didn't say anything. <laughs> why is it buffering? Don't worry. Sorry, I don't know why there's issues with this shit. That's why they got why can't they release it normally? There wouldn't be issues with it. Does that guy look familiar? Yeah, come to think of it. He does. They don't know me. <laughs> they don't know you either. And they don't know what you did. You mm. just keep your mouth shut, Buster. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. It's so much fun seeing Tiffany again, I will say. Oh! Shut her head right off. That was a really clean shot for that little gun. Andy. Oh, well, now they remember. Oh, shit, they're all gonna come out. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> It looks good, honestly. The way it's shot, I like this. Bro, are you gonna jump out yourself? What are you doing? Did he jump? Did he not jump out? <laughs> did, did he not jump out? That's like... I don't think Kyle's dead, to be honest. Because they didn't show her die, so I'm assuming she's not dead. Same with Andy here, he's obviously not dead. If they didn't show it. And they wouldn't kill him off like that. Hey. Honestly, I was expecting hey. them to have different characters this season. So I am surprised the same characters are back. I'm not complaining though. I like the characters in so, season one, but I, guess this is it. I just wasn't expecting it. You know, at this point, I'll take what we can get. Dude's voice dropped like 20 octaves since the last season. Jake! What? Did you see a Chucky doll? Oh. Oh, he was just- I thought- I got scared! <laughs> I was like, was there a Chucky doll in the back of the car? Six months time jump, really? It's always fun having a Halloween episode. Is that Chucky? Looks a lot bigger than Chucky. It looks a lot bigger than Chucky because it's probably someone shorter playing Chucky for this back shot. <laughs> But it does look like it's way too big for Chucky. Oh, that's not Chucky. That is not the hands of a Chucky doll. It's someone dressed as Chucky for Halloween. Oh, they scare the shit out of him with that? Did they do that on purpose or is this just by chance? It's called color of phobia. Oh, it's not even Chucky. <laughs> Never mind. Hello? Is Tamara home? Who? Tamara. Oh, that's Chucky. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it doesn't even sound like Chucky, it just sounds like Brad Dourif. <laughs> it sounds like Brad Dourif playing himself, it doesn't sound like Chucky. I'm not gonna be able to make it. You're telling me this now? 
You're supposed to be on the bus. Pam and Larry wouldn't let me go. They're, they're still not cool with us. Screw them. They're not your real parents. Yeah, but, but they could be. Why would you even want them if they won't accept you? Does he have the many options, though? That's the thing. Hey, you heard from Lexi? No. They don't keep in contact with Lexi? I think we saw in the trailer she was, like, doing drugs and shit, so I, I don't think she's been handling things well. Hello? Is Tamara home? Uh, still the wrong number. It just sounds like Brad Dourif. <laughs> Who is this? Where's your boyfriend tonight, Jake? <sighs> Screw you, Ellis. Who the fuck's Ellis? You know what, Ellis? You know, it's bad enough that you're a homophobic douchebag prick. You know, the really sad thing is, it's totally unoriginal. This isn't Ellis. And I'm not homophobic. <laughs> I don't discriminate. Happy Halloween. No, 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 I'll get it. Oh god, it, yeah. put at least hide the knife. At least hide it. So you don't look crazy. Hey. Jake, I just got a weird call from this douchebag. Well, he called you too? Look, I think it's Ellis, that Neanderthal from my school. No, he. Didn't he sound kind of familiar? Oh, Devin, you know, you don't think it could be- Jake, I don't think anything could have survived that crash. Yeah, but there could definitely be more dolls out there. Why is that so far-fetched? You don't think there could have been another one that got away? It's him. Who? Andy? No, the douchebag. Whose house is that? Trick or treat. Lexi's house. Something good to eat. Don't kill the kid! What are you supposed to be? The ghost of Halloween past. It's bothering me that it sounds nothing like Chucky. <laughs> I, I know he's doing that on purpose because he's trying to make it sound a little different. Because Ch that's what Chucky's trying to do. He's trying to sound a little different, but it just sounds a little weird. Because obviously Chucky's voice is not like Brad Dourif's normal voice. He kind of does something with his voice to make it work, you know? Oh, whatever dude she's with is definitely about to die. Um, I... Lexi, you have done this before, right? Have you? I think your first time should be special. <laughs> I like the colors in this room. No, no. Please. Jesus Christ! What the hell are you doing here? Did my mother send you? We got a report of a break-in. Do you know a Devin Evans? Yeah, she's got to put two and two together. He asked to use the bathroom. He said it was an emergency. Oh, shit. There's nobody here. No sign of forced entry either. Bro, you checked the house for like maybe 20 seconds. <laughs> How did you see the whole house in 20 seconds? I'd like to try something, if you'll permit me. Um, okay. She's gonna get out a Chucky doll, and Lexi's gonna freak out. They did the same thing in Cult of Chucky. Oh, it's Tiffany. Oh, that's, I like that. I don't know if there's actually a Tiffany soul in it though. Oh, she's gonna take it. <laughs> I would love to see more Tiffany in this series anyways. But I wanna see Tiffany actually go into the doll. I don't know why, I don't really like Tiffany in human form. <laughs> no offense to Jennifer Tilly, I don't know. I don't like her nearly as much as her in the doll form. Hacking sex strong. <laughs> Caroline, how about you? I'm fine. What ever happened to Chucky? Excuse me? As I recall, she used to drag that thing everywhere. Um, well, she has a new doll now. Caroline, does Belle tell you to do things too? Why are you asking these qu Those are the weirdest questions to ask. Last year, she said- Chucky told me to kill mommy. Uh oh, shit. It's a weird thing to bring up an interview like this, though. She's like, yeah, we gotta get rid of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Tiffany's got a soul in there? I doubt it. Never trust any doll, they're all fucked up. You said the F word. <laughs> that is how serious this is, Caroline. Now say it. Dolls are fucked up. Dolls are fucked up. <laughs> oh god, don't let a kid play with that. Keep this hand. No, if you're gonna give her anything, give her like, I don't know, a baseball bat. <laughs> At least she can't, you know, accidentally stab herself with a baseball bat. Why did he kill her when he had the chance? 
Maybe she's just messing with us. Or maybe he's trying to get one of us to kill again. I thought she quit. I'm sorry, Jake. When did you stop medicating your chronic anxiety? No, it's not the same thing. <laughs> it's just a little weird. What's the big deal? <laughs> You're also like 16, so I mean, I think that's pretty sh terrible to do that when you're 16. Devin, what did you find out about Caroline's doll? Well, she looks a little like the Bride of Chucky. Remember that movie? Bride of Chuck. Remember that movie? Tiffany Valentine. Wait, why, why did they reference their own movie? Ooh. I know. Oh, didn't they? Oh, they did make a movie off of Chucky, right? Yeah, okay, they did. In the fifth, in the Seat of Chucky. They did some weird sit in Seat of Chucky. I don't even remember half the shit they did, but I think they did make a movie based on Seat of Chucky. I don't remember what happened. I don't know. Or based on Bride of... I'm gonna stop talking. Please wake up. Please. I want Tiffany to be in that doll. Come on. Nah. I don't think she is. Don Mancini loves doing those eyes in the knife shot. He's done it so many times. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You just, you seem weird. Weird. It's the drugs. Oh, that's a cool shot. Uh, Mancini has some good shots here and there, I will say. I, I do like his directing. Yeah, she is doing drugs. I knew she was doing drugs. They did show it in the trailer, though, so I'm not, I didn't guess that perfectly or anything. You think Chucky's coming in broad daylight? Oh, wait, is that a bomb? What? Is that is that a bomb? Holy shit! How did this kid get all the way here? Wasn't he two hours away? You're not playing it right. Sit down. He looks so excited. <laughs> Amazing what you can do with a The bomb is really smart. The bomb is so smart. Because they can't do shit. Holy hostage situation, Batman! Shut the fuck up. That's already getting old. <laughs> How'd you get here? We Ubered. Oh. Just don't do anything stupid, Chucky. <laughs> no, Jake. Oh, I'm so glad to have this show back. I needed the three of you to get back together so I could kill you all at once. He's actually gonna do it? I hang out with my murder victims more often than you assholes see each other. <laughs> what could possibly stop them? Oh, he's waiting for Lexi. Okay. Why are you doing this? There were 72 of me on that truck. I was gonna take over the world, and I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling kids. <laughs> well, and Angie, exactly how many of you are left? Enough to make this worth the sacrifice. Oh yeah, there's definitely more left. I love the way he's sitting on the edge of the couch. <laughs> Lexi, just look, look up. Oh god, don't tell me. <laughs> Oh shit! Nice. This dumb kid better not accidentally click the button. <laughs> Please someone take this bomb away from him. What? No, I don't think there's anything- What?! How was he able to do that? The You're telling me the other kids didn't stop Chucky on the floor there? He they were- I think the kid's dead. Graduations. Are they gonna blame them for what happened to the kid? I'm assuming the kid died, right? From morning. Year after yeah. Year. Building a homemade bomb around a child. So this is why they're gonna go to that place that we see in the trailer. Hey, do you guys remember Trevor Kane? He was a year ahead of us. Trevor's been here for the past three years. My mother sent him here. This used to be the Burlington home for wayward boys. Remember? Charles Lee Ray lived here when he was our age. Oh, shit. 
That was his old home? Yeah, well, we, we saw the flashbacks with that, yeah. It's cool to see that comeback. Oh, it's good music. It's a remix of the uh, Curse of Chucky theme. What was that flash? Well, it looked like Chucky, but I couldn't really... <laughs> it looked like a weird, distor distorted version of Chucky. Oh, shit. That's going to be a doll, isn't it? All right. All right, let's pause that. Okay. First episode of Chucky. Um, Season 2. I, I enjoyed that. I think that was a pretty good episode. My only issues... A couple things were a little sloppy here and there in terms of, like... Like, for example, the, the scene where Chucky exploded the bomb. It was, like... It was just weird how characters are positioned in the room it's one of these things that I've, I've talked about before in other shows and movies and such and i think it's one of the most important aspects of filmmaking is even if it's not on screen you have to remember where people are because it needs to still feel like this is happening even though obviously it's still a show it's not real life it does need to feel like this could happen in this way in real life in terms of where the characters are positioned on screen just because they're off screen does not mean we should forget about them and in that scene i feel like they didn't show um where uh lexi jake and devin it's devin right yeah i think it's devin they didn't show where they went and so i was confused as to why they couldn't have stopped chucky because he was like right there you know he was right there on the floor he got, got knocked over he was tased actually but somehow he was able to crawl his way all the way into the kitchen to follow the little boy and blow up the bomb so it's just like weird stuff like that where I just feel like they messed up the positioning of the characters and just it, it was a clunky scene because of that. But I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this episode quite a bit. I enjoyed obviously seeing Chucky back. I'm always going to be entertained by him. I really loved the opening even though I missed the first minute of it because there were some buffering issues with this. But during one of the, uh, what's it called, uh, previews, I did go back and watch it because there was a they released that first minute early actually on Twitter. So I was able to go back and watch it because um, I only missed the first minute. Well, I didn't miss too much at the beginning because sci-fi was having issues and um yeah i really enjoy the way they've reintroduced us to the characters i think they i think they gave us good enough reasons as to why they haven't really been with each other for a while obviously you know jake was moving lexi's been doing drugs and stuff she's been doing her own thing and it's nice to see them all come back because of a scare about the possibility of chucky coming back and of course it was not just a scare it was actually the case and um, I do like how it all worked out in the end. I do think it was a good, like I said, good start for the season. I don't think it was that great of an episode in total. But to be honest, season one was kind of the same way where the first episode was just kind of like, okay. But then the rest of the episodes started getting better and better and better. So I'm kind of expecting this to be the same deal. Obviously, we didn't get to see any of Tiffany other than the doll in the beginning of the episode. Uh, we didn't get to see any of, you know, human form of Tiffany or Nika or any of that. And again, sure, that's going to come later on and um andy kyle all these other characters they're all gonna have their their time to come i'm sure later on but right now this episode was definitely mainly focused on the main three characters and showing them that yes chucky is still involved and i really like how dark it went with the kid dying seeing such a young kid die like it was a really surprising thing to see for this show even though they've killed off kids before it's never been like that young of a kid obviously off screen thankfully but it was dark, dark stuff, and it um, definitely is going to lead into an interesting couple episodes going forward. I'm sure we're going to have some crazy shit happening at this facility place. I don't know what you want to call it, the religious camp, I guess. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you want to see the full uncut reaction, that'll be my Patreon, which is in the description down below. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Peace out.